ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, can Chat GPT actually make you money for nothing? But first, it's the strange case of the relatable 21 year old Gen Z YouTuber who rocketed to fame and fortune, and it's now being claimed charged a cool $10,000 just for a thank you note DM on Instagram. So, who is Emma Chamberlain? She is the absolute poster girl for Gen Z, and she's also had a massive pivot towards being basically within the fashion community. She's a Louis Vuitton ambassador, she's interviewed celebs on the Met Gala Red carpet for Vogue and she'll probably do it again this year. She's a big deal, has absolutely millions of Instagram followers. That's Evening Standard Features journalist Maddie Musson, who explains about the genesis of this story. Some fans stumbled upon a listing on shopemmachamberlain.com for a personal DM from Emma saying thank you. And it was listed at $10,000 and people were quite reasonably taken aback at the idea that they'd be spending what is probably nearly a year's rent for most people on a single DM. And Maddie tells us what Chamberlain's team are saying. Our merch company are essentially saying that it was them testing a prospective reward program related to Emma's merch without her knowledge. And in testing the this prospective reward program, they created like an outrageous, never activated reward level that was never intended to be active or purchased or seen by anyone. And then somehow it was activated. Chamberlain's also gone into damage limitation mode, saying she was surprised as anyone else about this listing. Next. More than one app poses a risk to cybersecurity. That's what the Irish government's saying as TikTok prepares to go to Congress to fight for its future in the US. Ireland's Minister of State at the Department of Communications, Ossian Smith, says there's more than one risky app out there. Comes as TikTok boss Xu Zichu will on Thursday give testimony to US Congress likely to focus on the platform's China links and how it processes and stores data. Next. So, can chat GPT, artificial intelligence software, actually make you money? Someone's finding out in real time. Writer Jackson Greathouse Fall is working on a project dubbed Hustle GPT, which he started with $100 of seed money to see if the next gen of the AI, called GPT-4, could earn him as much as possible. His idea was to set up an affiliate marketing site for eco-friendly products, giving the AI jobs including design and social media management. So, how's it all going? Great House Fall reckons that in a week since starting the experiment, the AI has written one blog post attracted more than 2,000 Discord users and apparently has generated $130 of revenue. The James Webb Space Telescope has spied a planet outside of our solar system that takes 10,000 years to orbit its two parent stars, making one lap as the last time hunter-gatherers roamed the Earth. The Super Telescope picked up a fierce dust storm, whirling the furthest away ever seen by astronomers on the exoplanet VHS 1256b, which is some 40 light years from Earth. We know the dust particles are silicates, that's small grains made up of silicon and oxygen, which are the basis of most rocky minerals. Now, Ferrari's reportedly refusing to pay a ransom to hackers who breached the Italian supercar firm's cyber defences to steal customers' personal info. There are fears that thousands of names, addresses and phone numbers could be leaked online, but the company is standing firm, saying it doesn't fund criminal activity. Ferrari's so far not revealed how much the hackers are demanding, but says it takes clients' confidentiality very seriously. Staying with motoring... A study suggesting living close to a noisy road really can raise your blood pressure. Scientists at China's Peking University found there was a greater risk of hypertension depending on a person's exposure to revving engines and screeching tyres. Researchers analysed data from nearly a quarter of a million Britons who did not have high blood pressure at the start of the study. They found people living near road traffic noise were more likely to develop hypertension and also found risk increased in tandem with the road noise dose. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science, plus the truth behind those viral snake cat photos. Why not hit follow in the meantime? 
Welcome back. Scientists have analysed five locks of what's believed to be Beethoven's hair to sequence the genome of the prodigious composer and discover more about his health problems. An international team of researchers led by Cambridge University found it was likely that a genetic predisposition to liver disease and a hepatitis B infection combined with his broadly accepted alcohol consumption contributed to his death. The German composer and pianist died in Vienna in 1827, aged just 56. He suffered progressive hearing loss, which began in his mid to late 20s and led to him being deaf by 1818. And finally, it's the strange tale that's got debate raging on the internet. Is there really such a thing as a snake cat? Latin serpens catus? The answer is obviously no, but social media posts showing pics of the black cat with snake-like orange and yellow splotches claimed it was the rarest feline species on Earth dwelling in a very remote corner of the Amazon. That's the rainforest, not the warehouse. Now, Russian Facebook user Alex Vasilev has confessed to being behind the ruse. He apparently found the picture, downloaded from a random old Facebook post, and uploaded it again, saying the incident demonstrates how easily misinformation spreads online. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader Podcast, bringing you the latest news, interviews and analysis from the Evening Standard here in London. And we'll be back on Friday at 1pm. See you then.